Black Hawk was a Sauk chief during the westernization of North America in a time full of discrimination and criticism towards Native Americans. As a result of the westernization, many tribes were pushed aside to accommodate the growth of a new nation. Black Hawk's tribe was one of the many that unknowingly handed over their land. Black Hawk began a short-lived fight back in 1832 against the American settlers to try and assure that his tribe could stay on the land they and their ancestors had known for generations. The chief felt an obligation to fight back for his people and other tribes that were affected by President Andrew Jackson's decision of the Indian Removal Bill. President Andrew Jackson's Indian Removal Bill in 1828 was enacted when the Native Americans chiefs refused to move from their lands across the Mississippi River to accommodate for the growing population of Americans. Most natives were given the option to hand over their lands for an amount of money. Most chiefs that agreed to give land only agreed to give a small amount of land, but were tricked into handing over all of their land. Black Hawk had been a victim of this deception and was eventually ejected from his land along with his tribe. Black Hawk's fight back began with the formation of his British band. The War of 1812 had gathered a lot of British troops to try and rid the area of the American settlers and get them back under England's control. Black Hawk's men would sometimes fly the British flag before battles. Thus, the group took the name British Band. The British Band was very successful in the start, having more trained men than the Americans. The Americans were unprepared for the organized fighting that the natives had and were unable to prepare men quickly enough. Without the men the American settlers needed, they were defeated by the British Band many times. The first fight that the British Band fought was the Battle of Stillman's Run. The Americans' army had followed a group of Sauk tribesmen back to the British band. Once there, the Americans tried to call a truce with Black Hawk, but failed. A battle commenced where the American army was overpowered by Black Hawk's men, and later, under Black Hawk's control, the band was able to take hold of many American forts. The Americans had General Henry Atkinson assigned to the task of fighting back against Black Hawk and his British band. Atkinson entered the war with few untrained men that lost many battles against Black Hawk's trained men. In order to overpower the British band, General Henry Atkinson appealed to the government to try and get trained men. Atkinson was in charge of training the men and getting them prepared to fight and defeat Black Hawk. He received 1,700 untrained men for his army. Atkinson's men began moving towards Black Hawk and his army to begin the fighting. When they finally caught up, they were incredibly unprepared for Black Hawk's men and were quickly defeated. Black Hawk's men understood how to handle a battle and had better strategies than Atkinson. When the settlers were able to organize themselves enough to fight back, General Henry Atkinson was put in charge of the American forces in the area that Black Hawk was occupying. He had asked for men from the beginning and had received more untrained men than trained, leading to losses against Black Hawk. Once Atkinson obtained trained men, it was easy to overthrow Black Hawk. Black Hawk's army was trained, yet they didn't have the advanced weaponry of the American settlers. Black Hawk's final battle, the Battle of Bad Axe, was on September 19, 1832. Atkinson's men were finally able to overpower Black Hawk's British band. Black Hawk's battle for his land and for equality between the new settlers and his tribe was decided by power of armies. Black Hawk surrendered to General Henry Atkinson with his men after the final battle. 
His British band did not stand a chance against the trained men with firearms. Although other chiefs tried to copy what Black Hawk did, they were not strong enough against the Americans. The natives struggled for their land throughout the time of Black Hawk and continued to fight after his death. Black Hawk's persistence to fight inspired tribes to follow in his steps toward freedom.